Welcome back to In The Spotlight. Today we are turning up the heat as we are meeting with artists who wields fire as a tool to craft masterpieces that are beyond imagination. Sandra Dunn. I am a blacksmith. I have been forging full time for 30 years now. I tried forging. I had a friend from art school who called me up and she said there's a business called Artifacts where she was working and she said there's someone set up a forge there she said you should come try it because I think you would like it. She was right. <laughs> I tried forging there. I would go in there on Mondays when they were closed and uh, and I got bitten by the bug I guess and I decided after playing around on the forge for a few months that that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Uh, source of heat, right? So we use solid fuel. I used coal, coal for 25 years and then switched to coke. Uh, the noise you hear in the background is our propane forge that's going. So if you need a, an even heat or if we're doing multiples, then we'll use a propane forge. Uh, and then you need a whole bunch of tools. So you need an anvil, so some big heavy hunk of steel that you can hammer on and you need hammers. And as you'll see probably later on, we have uh, literally hundreds of hammers. And, uh, and so basically you have to build a whole library of tools. Uh, my name's Amy Botello. Um, I guess my favorite thing about it is that there's something that's seemingly solid in the world, like metal, you see it everywhere, but when you forge, it becomes plastic and movable. So I think that's, that's pretty magical. I love this spice, it's good. Um, I know maybe it's, um, since you guys might not be familiar with shops, this is actually a fairly large and very clean shop, and I do like that. It's very organized, um, which means that it's not only safe, but it's a very efficient space to work in. So it's, uh, yeah, it's an amazing space. It's a lot of fun. Um, I have, like, I know a lot of blacksmiths around Ontario, and um, I didn't realize how important it was for me to actually work with another female. I always thought, eh, no big deal, but then I met Sandra and I thought, oh, Okay, it actually is important to me, like her style of working, um, her attention to detail, I think really um, complements the way that I like to work. So before I came to Two Smiths, I didn't have any background in forging. I was, I had my own little home set up and I was sort of just trying to teach myself stuff, which is not a very great way to learn. Um, you know, you, you just plateau without uh, learning from somebody else. So this was the main place that I got uh, my education in forging here.